I really don't know what happened to the thinking Kenya. We, we have become a country that I don't know what is really guiding us in terms of our decision making. Because there must be some form of strategy uh, with an end game to, to it. Uh, you cannot just swim into the open waters of the international politics uh, that way. Everybody, anybody who, who has invested some time and thought to study Haiti knew that uh, this was a perilous situation. Uh, it was occasioned by the assassination of the president before. And uh, it was very clear that the current, the, the acting president, who is the prime minister, was himself, uh, had himself escaped numerous assassinations. As Kenya was being called by the United States to take its troops to Haiti, and not the troops, but the police officers to Haiti, the situation was that uh, police officers, I mean, were actually resigning in mass. Others were laying off as, as late as last week, uh, last, la, last month. 4,000 police officers literally uh, were reported out of the, the forces. And at the same time, there were massive, uh, you know, uh, escapes from prisons, mm -hmm. again, in thousands uh, in the last one month. And, it, and uh, like every other country, Haiti is going through serious stress mm -hmm. uh, relating to one, the, 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 the kind of recession that we are facing globally. Uh, but at the same time, they had a serious hurricane and the, the system didn't seem to re respond effectively uh, to that situation and the world community did not come to Haiti's aid. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it, it's, a, it's a, mix, uh, a mix of very many, uh, you know, uh, things happening and we are also are familiar with the history of the evolutionary history of uh, haiti whereby uh, the, the 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 line is clearly drawn between those who are for or against imperialists that's the, the rhetoric within the haitian political uh, landscape so um, for kenya which wh whose police officers don't speak french and have no clue about french and, and are not from that uh, Anglo, I mean, uh, uh, um, you know, Francophonic culture. It, 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 anybody would have questioned what was the driving motive of, of Kenya. Yes, the argument has been, oh, Kenya has a role to play with the humanity, but are we more, more humane than other countries? Uh, and what, anyway, would a thousand uh, so, uh, police officers do in a country where, you know, uh, you know massive, Break, up, break, break from jails, uh, resignation of police officers. And, you know, a, a very well-organized gang led by a person whose name tell you what they're up to. His name is Barbecue. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what, what are you uh, supposed to do there? Yes, but, so that, that to me uh, is, is, is what, uh, what was the problem. Therefore, the resignation of uh, uh, the, the prime minister is, is basically was predicted long time ago uh, our colleague Obong uh, predicted it last week uh, here. He said this, this is a no-brainer that this man is going. Uh, or this, this, the, the country, the situation in Haiti is actually getting out of control. So th that's, what I, that's why I ask what happened to the thinking in Kenya, uh, particularly in matters global strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it appears that uh, we, have, we are now pulling back from a situation that we should not even have entered into. If we, if we had really engaged uh, the thinking part of, of our lives. Uh, and um, so finally, uh, the, the question is, what was our attraction or, or what really attracted us to Haiti? Was it uh, humanitarian or philanthropic motive or simply, you know, uh, profiteering? And, and, and I think this attraction of what one billion, uh, another 100 million, uh, dollars and all that, they talk about money. And are we engaged in modern slavery or modern slave trade? Mm -hmm. Are we really putting Kenyans' lives in harm's way just because there is, somebody has dug good the carrot of money? What happened to principles? Mm -hmm. What happened to, uh, to, to this humanity that you, you, you care about your citizens? Mm -hmm. Because as one of our colleagues uh, last, year, last week said, mm -hmm. As to the situation in Haiti 
is a clear indication that the country is a meat grinder. And as a meat grinder, you cannot be put, putting your citizens in harm's way that way. So I, th I think our law, our, our judiciary has been right, for the, not for the first time. Mm -hmm. Another time, it has stood up as a champion and defender of the rights of our, of our people in Kenya. <coughs> because it has stood from the beginning saying this, uh, you know, uh, th this mission is illegal, it is a violation of our constitution and our law, and we, we kept on saying, you know, it is standing between us and development, uh, all that rhetoric. But the truth of the matter is, lives of Kenyans matter. Lives of Kenyans matter. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's hear from uh, Dr. Ken Bongi on this as well, uh, because uh, we have seen, just as we saw there, the signing of that particular treaty, what does it portend moving forward? Do you think now is this is a high time to go back to the table and rethink about the deployment that uh, is pending? So